it going. So I haven't done an updated makeup collection video since August, I want to say. And my collection has kind of grown. The way I organize it's kind of changed. So I just kind of wanted to do an updated one for the hell of it. Um, so my collection is really small. Um, I don't have, you know, a lot of products, but the products I do have, I really love and they work for me. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I will get right into it. General overview of where I keep my makeup. Um, down at the bottom is just my books that I brought to college with me. But, um, I got these two storage containers at Walmart. Um, but first I'm just going to show you up here. So right over here is where I keep all of my perfumes and lotions. Um, I really don't have that many, but at the same time I have more than I really need. Um, but I am trying to use them up. So back here I just have some body sprays from Bath & Body Works. I so this is Coconut Passion Fruit. This is Sweet Pea. This is Carried Away. I really love this one for the summer. This is Rio Rumberry. And this is Black Raspberry Vanilla, which I love to death. And then I just have some lotions. This is Coconut Passion Fruit, Sweet Pea, which I'm almost out of and I'm trying to use up. Rio Rumberry. This is Peach Citrus. Um, Charmed Life. Carried Away. And then this is Black Raspberry Vanilla. And then I just have some sample ones that my brother got me for Christmas. This is the Twilight Woods Lotion, Moonlit Path. This is the Twilight Woods Spray. And then I have a little pink chiffon uh, lotion and another little Rio Rumberry that I like to put in my purse. Back here is a perfume I got from Rue 21 a long time ago, but it's still good and I love it. Um, this is the Pink with a Splash Sweet and Flirty Perfume. This is a hand cream that I got from Bath & Body Works. And then the Sexy Little Things Noir Perfume. And then back here I have two Jergens Natural Glow that I'm using. I'm using this one right now. And then in the summer I will probably switch. Whoa! In the summer I will probably switch to the darker one. Then back here is all of my hair products. I have a hairspray from Herbal Essences. Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray, Chi Iron Guard, an Aussie leave-in conditioner that I like to use, um, Herbal Essence, Tussle Me Softly, this is what I used to scrunch my hair with, and then an Herbal Essences Mousse. And then in these little pink things that I actually got at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar, and I got like a pack of three for a dollar, are all of my nail polishes, and I actually don't have all my nail polishes in here right now, I will show you the rest in a minute. Um, but I have a lot of China Glaze and OPI and a lot of these um, Sally Hansen nail polishes because they're really cheap and I like them. And this is just a random nail art pen. The other nail polishes I have are all right up here. These are part of the Hunger Games collection and then these are just some other new ones that I haven't used. Um, I want to use all of these before I put them away. Right now I'm trying to work my way through the Hunger Games collection so I'm like painting my nails like every other day and swatching them because I want to do a full in-depth review of them so that's why they are right here. Um, I did have a nail polish collection a long time ago video I did a couple months ago but I have added more polishes to my collection since then. Okay so getting down to where I keep all of my makeup right here is just a little pouch that I made for my Coastal Scents palette and it was really easy to make so in this first drawer is all of my blushes. Now my blush collection has grown a lot since I redid, since I last did my makeup collection. Back here is just a Dream Bouncy blush that I really do not like and I kind of wish I hadn't bought. Um, a NYX powder blush and Mocha. This is just a Clinique blush that I've had forever. Um, this is a Mary Kay powder that I got from a thrift store because I wanted a chance to try it. It's a little too dark for me right now, but I think in the summer it'll be perfect. And then these are just two Wet n Wild blushes from their Color Icon collection. A Rimmel, a Rimmel bronzer that I really don't use ever. My Rimmel Matte Stay Powder, which I love and I use every day. An e.l.f. Blush and Bronzer Palette. Um, a NYX Cream Blush. A, a L'Oreal True Match Blush that I got for like clearance. Um, this is my Physician's Formula Happy Booster Blush, which I love to death, and then another NYX Cream Blush. In here is my foundation drawer. I really don't have that many foundations. Um, 
this is a L'Oreal True Match that's way too dark for me, and I'm trying to give it away to somebody. Um, I haven't found anybody who wants it yet. And then I have this Clinique Even Better foundation that I've had forever, and I'm actually in love with using it right now. Um, this is my Mineralogy Concealer that I use on a daily basis. Um, this is my CoverGirl Nature Luxe Foundation. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know this is my go-to foundation. This is a Revlon Color Stay foundation that I've had for a while, and I probably should throw out, and it's really gross looking right now because they don't have a pump, which is kind of annoying. This is my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Tinted Moisturizer that I like to use on days where I really don't want to do my makeup. Um, this is a Jouer Tinted Moisturizer I got from Birchbox. And then I have two primers from Benefit, the That Girl Primer and a Pore Professional Primer. And this is my Beauty Blender that I really, really love to use. Okay, so down to my lipstick drawer. This is another drawer, um, part of my collection that has really grown in the past few months. Um, back here is a EOS lip balm that I really do not like. I react really weirdly to these. And I'm thinking of doing a products I regret buying, so I will probably talk about that in that video. So right here are just three Stila lip glosses that I got in a trio from Sephora. This is a L'Oreal Color Racial Lip Gloss that I love. A Tarte Lip Surgeons that I got in my Birch Box. Two NYX, um, two NYX Lip Glosses, two Revlon Color Burst, or Super Lustrous Lip Glosses. I love these two. This is in Firecracker and Pink Pout. These are the two lip butters I have from Revlon. This is Sweet Tart and Candy Apple. These are really, really good. Um, believe the hype on these. They are amazing. I have a couple of the Rimmel um, Moisture Renew lip sticks. I really, really love this brand. And then I have a couple of Revlon lip gloss lipsticks. They have amazing lipsticks. And then these are just two NYX lipsticks that I got. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadows. I actually just reorganized this drawer because it was driving me kind of crazy. So in here, I just have um, some of my eyeshadow palettes. I just took the bottom of one of my birch boxes and put all my eyeshadows in here because the drawer was a mess. And it's kind of tipping over right now. Um, so I have to find a better way to store this. So these are my Maybelline quads and trios. And back here I have two of their singles. And I have a couple of NYX single eyeshadows, just three of them. And then I have a L'Oreal, a Lancome Quad, a Rimmel Trio, some CoverGirl, and some Wet n Wild. And back here I have my four Maybelline Color Tattoo um, eyeshadows. I have a Maybelline Gel Liner, um, a... Urban Decay Primer Potion, a NYX Jumbo Pencil, and some brow pencils that I really never use. And somewhere in here, and I also have this Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, so this drawer is just a bunch of samples. I have a um, mineral eyeshadow sample from Coastal Scents, some hair, some shampoo samples from, I want to say John Frieda, nope. Fakai, I don't know. I've had those for a while. Some perfume samples I got from Sephora. Um, yeah, so just samples. And this is a Redken Color Extend um, Shine Enriching Gel that I got on a sample at like the salon one day. And then this soap thing that I got from Birchbox that I really don't like to use because I don't like using bar soap. And then this drawer is really, really random. I have a eyeshadow palette that I got from Christmas that my mom got me that I really don't reach for because they're sh super, super shimmery. I have a couple of products that I used up but I want to repurchase because they were only samples. I have the little pouch that my Sigma brushes came in and I'm keeping the little like protectors that they came in so when I travel they don't get all messed up. I have a random button that I really don't know where it came from but it's there. And then just two Coastal Sense business cards. Over here is where I keep random things that I reach for every day. Back here in this little three cup container I got from Walmart, I have my face brushes, my, oh, I have my eyeshadow brushes in the middle compartment, mostly Sigma, some drugstore stuff. 
And then in here I keep my um, my mascara, some brow gel, um, a couple concealers. I have the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I have the way in here. I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which mine kind of broke, and I don't know how to depot it. I have a couple of random random eyeliners, um, mostly Rimmel Exaggerate. I have a couple of liquid liners in here, and then I have my lash curler from e.l.f. And then back here I have um, some nail polish remover and another bottle that I got because I was running out of this. And then in this little file thing I have my Coastal Sense 88 Original Palette and my Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I just got this at Walmart for like three bucks. Um, I also have some Vaseline back here because you can use Vaseline for anything. I use it when I dye my hair, when I wear uncomfortable shoes, um, for chapped lips. You can do almost anything with this. And I have a baby kabuki brush here from Coastal Sense that I really don't like, but it was free, so I have it. Um, I keep my two moisturizers right here. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion and the Olay Night of Olay Firming Cream. I use this at night. After I take my makeup off, first I put this on and then I put this on. Then over here I have these Olay um, makeup remover wipes that I really do not like. They get my face makeup off, but they will not remove my mascara, which is kind of crazy because it's not even waterproof mascara. And I paid eight, like $5 for these, so they're not the best, but they get the job done. And in here is usually where I keep my Neutrogena wipes, but I ran out, which is why I have these piece of crap. So yeah, that's just my collection. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I guess I will see you all in the next video. So long.